what's going on everybody today we are talking about why you should probably not use facebook and you're probably marketing on the wrong channels you should probably be focusing on this channel right now that you're watching which is youtube if you're new to the show my name is los silva this is the los hustle channel and today i'm talking with my business partner dimitri dimitri and i own an agency that is focused solely on YouTube for creators, consultants, coaches, and service providers. And we want to give you some tips, three to five tips today on why you're probably not finding scale using Facebook, testing TikTok, and if you're a creator, coach, consultant, you should be using YouTube. What's up, man? Welcome welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Sorry yeah. i to talk about YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So you've done this on, on the Google side, and obviously now YouTube, we do it uh, a lot. So... Talk to me about what you've seen over the past years on just the changes uh, with YouTube, Google in general, and why people are just having so much more success with it. Because it's astronomical. All the people that we work with and we know that are using YouTube are scaling, while all the people that are solely focused on Facebook are having diminishing results, losing their accounts, and at the same time, kind of not being able to find scale, but they, they're not moving over. A lot of them are still not moving over. So why do you think that is? There's a couple reasons. Primarily, the first one being that YouTube is a holistic, or Google rather, is a holistic channel where you have search, marketing, shopping, display, and YouTube. Now, the best thing that is going for Google is the fact that they also have your Gmail. They know what you're watching. They pretty much know everything about you, where mm -hmm. you're going through maps. They have you down. So when you're targeting on YouTube or anything Google related, they know what to show you. They know what you like kind of better than you even know it yourself. So they have that advantage over everybody else, including Facebook. Now, number two is tracking. Now, everybody knows Facebook kind of dropped the ball with totally tracking. The ball. It hurt a lot of people's businesses. Like, what do we do now? Mm -hmm. Do we do TikTok? And we, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but no, the answer is you do YouTube. Right. Now, YouTube is hard because it's different. Facebook is, you, you put an ad out there and... You can put an image out. You can do anything. It's simpler. You got you to gotta really think through uh, making the right video on YouTube. So reason number one, guys, is data. Google in general just has more data. Reason number two is really intent over interruption. And so what I mean by that is that when you're searching, you have an intention that you're trying to get a result for something. That's why you're searching for it. With Facebook and even TikTok, it's more interruption-based marketing, which means you're scrolling and you see something that catches your eye. And then you kind of honestly buy on a whim. You're buying with the intention of buying or searching with the intention of getting an action happening on YouTube. And I would say reason number three, it's it's a bigger platform, so there's better opportunities to build a, what would be called almost like a sequential retargeting funnel, right? So you watch a video on YouTube, then immediately you're going into Gmail to check your ads uh, or to check your emails, and then you see an ad on the same exact thing. Then you go into another website and you see display using Google Display. So you can create this whole system, which you really can't, you can using different tools and stuff like that uh, with with Facebook, but it's more holistic and simpler using YouTube and Google in general. That's right. And in every experience that we've had, somebody's having success on, on Facebook or another source, uh, as soon as they get to YouTube and it's done properly, the account is set up differently. And by the way, the fundamentals of a Google and YouTube ads account is completely different mm -hmm. from Facebook. That's a really important port point to know just because you're running your Google ads and your Facebook ads the same way you're doing on Facebook and it's not working doesn't mean YouTube's not going to work for you. Right. It's just different. But the point is that running on YouTube gives you the perfect type of targeting. You're going to find your perfect ideal customer at the right time in the right headspace because you know exactly what they're doing and they're looking for exactly what you have to offer. Right. So you can target on YouTube, which you can't on Facebook. You can target videos. So I can retarget. Once you watch this video, I can retarget another video of anybody I want showing like something that just happened on this, which you really can't do it on, on Facebook. And you can go into other people's videos and go target them. So you can target your competitors. You can target competitor channels, different things like that, which makes it significantly better because if you're in 
being a creator, course creator, consultant, service provider, you know the channels that are people are watching, the things that people are engaged with, the top people. And you can go buy ads against their actual channel, which is just a game changer for connection and, and solving the problem for your prospects. Yeah, totally. And let me give you an example that everybody can relate to. Okay, so let's say you're set to go watch a movie at the movie theater. Mm -hmm. You're excited. You want, you're now in the headspace of watching an immersive movie. Right. And before the movie, there's the previews. Okay. And they're, they're intense. They're to the point. They, they have a hook. They draw you in. So you came in already wanting to watch movies. Right. Then they're advertising you a, a different movie. That now you want to go watch. I want to go watch that movie too next. Right. That's beautiful. Now, juxtapose that against you're in the supermarket and there's a magazine on the shelf and it pattern interrupts you to look at it and it say, okay, well, the new Batman is coming out. So, okay, that's cool, but I don't care. So that's the difference between Facebook and YouTube advertising. Right. YouTube, I'm already wanting to watch the movie. I get advertised another one. I'm in the headspace to buy and I buy. Mm -hmm. I don't have to interrupt. It's just, it's the perfect system. That's why it's better. Yeah. So listen, if you guys are interested in us helping you scale your YouTube ads or build your YouTube campaigns, uh, there's going to be a link here. Just click the link. It'll take you to an application. If you're a good fit, we'll have a conversation and see if we're a good fit together to help you scale. Uh, but before we go, what are, what are two to three tips for somebody that wants to test this out and go from Facebook over to YouTube? If you had to give them three tips for them to do it the right way. Tip number one is your targeting. So a lot of times we're caught up in wanting to scale. But when you're just starting out, it makes sense to get a sale mm -hmm. and build off that. Mm -hmm. So how, do, how are you going to get your sale without spending a ton of money and, and losing money on that sale? Is find the perfect video that you want to show on and put your ads just on that video. Because you can target individual videos. Mm -hmm. Start there. Right. And build from that. Okay. So number two, creative. It has to be good. Okay. Same back to the movie theater example. Right. You can have a bad trailer and a good trailer. It matters. It's a big deal. Take time on it. Iterate. Try different uh, intros. Find the right video because that's key. And number three is... Find the right bidding strategy. I've talked about this before, but Google wants to make money. Mm -hmm. So you and 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 you as a business owner want to get the best ROAS from Google. Right. You want to make money. So Google wants to make money for itself and you want to make money for yourself. Right. The interests are a little bit misaligned. Yeah, yeah. So be careful just following all the recommendations that Google has to offer and YouTube has to offer. Okay, you have to be smart about it. We're going to have more content like this coming up for you guys to help you build your campaigns and set up your systems, help people call to actions, and just building the right video for everything as well. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, join the notifications, and we will see you guys on the next video. Bye.